um, for my YouTube to be, uh, my channel to be the Diamond of Light. So, welcome beautiful Diamonds of Light, I may say. I'm here to do a reading for the collective. And any messages that I've guided to um, bring forth from all the beautiful divine energies, frequencies, and vibrations, and beings of love and light. That is what I'm going to do. So, I'm not going to hold on anymore. Let's just get started here. This is a, just an overall reading for the month of October for the collective. <clears throat> General reading. Let's see what we have in store. <sighs> yes. Um, I'm just grateful to be here. Oh, let's see. Uh-oh. Oh, we got two cards coming out the back. Let's see. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Let's keep going. I'm going to do four cards. I'm going to do four cards today. I'm going to got it to do four. Yes, maybe five, but I'm going to do four. Let's see what is given to us. The collective, the divine collective. On our growth and development and what we need to know and what we need to do and what's coming our way. Um, this I will say is that I, me personally, I have been guided to really get back in touch with nature. Because it's so important right now in this month. And I know that I'm a Scorpio. And um, I know we're in the, just within the Merc Mercury of Scorpio. And Pluto, so it's a lot of energies and stuff coming through, and I feel like that I'm really um, guided to connect with these energies through nature, um, because uh, I hadn't been in nature in um, the past month a lot, but I did go hiking yesterday, and you know, been working on trying to connect with the beautiful divine fairy, fairies. So because in the elementals and. Cause they're a big part of nature and helping the planet and the earth and um and i'm really want to get to that in, in my divine way because the planet and taking care of nature and the plants and loving nature and mother earth and all of this is so important that's how we bring the true balance within ourselves and within this reality so let's see <clears throat> wow wow this is so amazing okay this is how I personally do my readings. <clears throat> I gather the card and I go from my perspective and then I interpretate from the book. So um, the first card is the Prince of Pentacles. Look at this beautiful card. Hmm. And what I get from this, let me take a look. <laughs> Once again, you see this, how, how nature is involved, the trees, <laughs> there's the tree stumps. But this horse is actually forming from the tree, its legs is like roots, I would say, or tree formations. So, and it's stilting on these, this tree, right? But it's only three, three um legs that's being supported by these tree stumps and that one right there is just up and he it's like he he, he i guess he kind of kind of gathered away from that that area of something from from this perspective i don't know if it's because he kind of figured out a way to go around it and not need it anymore or he shot away from it thinking that he could kind of balance this himself when you know, he's really off balance because you need that fourth stump to be able to, you know, balance himself out. So, you know, that's what we need to work on, balancing. Like I just said, when we do that by connecting to the roots of nature. And here, also I see, um, wow, um, I see gears, you know, um, within the frontal part. These are like different gear, gears. And from that I get that we own different um, aspects of ourselves. Um, as we're tuning in, having to tune back into who we truly are. Through uh, connecting our roots and, and grounding and connecting with nature. 
um, is, is, is beautiful. And also, it's a, it's a stereo. You got the guy sitting on the, on the back of the horse. Like, he's not even, it's like, he's just chilling back there. It's, he's not even focusing on, because it's like, he's not going anywhere. Like, there's no need me, you know, posting front and sitting right like I'm about to ride because obviously he's not about to take off right now because he needs to ground and root himself. So he's kind of sitting on the back of the uh, the the horse and then it's a, a stereo system sitting sounds there going back towards him. He's sitting on the back of the horse just chilling, um, you know, trying to figure things out, you know. And, and with that, it's about, once again, connecting and grounding. He, he trying to figure out he can't go nowhere until he get that frequency. That's what I feel like the frequency is right. He got to get the frequency right. And he's back here contemplating. We're contemplating on our frequencies of bringing balance. And through that, we have to ground ourselves and connect with nature. And then you'll be able to turn around and ride off on that horse. Maybe the gears will start moving because they're obviously stuck. Because you can't go nowhere. Because if you did, you would be chilling back there. You would just so the gears are not um, moving, so the horse is not moving, and it's just rooted and it's, it's just stuck. So you need to, you know, connect and bring your roots back to this, so we can get things flowing right. So we can ride ride this horse right. That's what I get from it. <laughs> That's my perspective. Um, I don't know if I see anything else. That's a lot in these cards. If you just look at them, it's so much you can really divinely get into. That's why I love uh, these cards. And I always, you know, um, off the Starman Tarot deck. This is the deck I'm using. So um, let me go to the book, the Brian Reference, the Prince of Pentacles. Like I said, that's what we got. Prince of Pentacles, upright. It says. Map out your plan for the phase of your life's adventure. Develop systems to keep your passion intact. Develop patience. Enjoy the journey you are on. Yes, so you having to keep yourself intact, um, develop patience, and because we are on this journey, this divine journey, and once again, what I got from it is that we need to get back and start connecting those who hadn't been like me for instance i said wait a minute these energies and and, and and my higher self has guided me to go back into nature because we can get thrown off balances because we need to ground and we need to understand the um what what is what is to be brought forth from us through that okay the next card is <clears throat> the four swords oh this this um card says so much to me because I do a lot of this meditating <laughs> um and with that that is our weapon to me this is what I'm getting meditation is a form of um I, I wouldn't say weapon to kill but a weapon to a sword to uphold who we are to be able to defeat um anything that um may be lowering our vibrations this meditation is the key to raise your vibrations to step into your higher selves and connect with your higher um guidance you know and with this we can unlock so much you know we use these this this technique for our divine purpose right and that help us i see green in here to me that's represent of the heart chakra so we and connecting with earth again so it's good to when you meditate you can go outside also i'm getting this go outside and meditate on the grass connecting with mother earth and then this for here is help you to get the heart chakra open up your heart center and through your heart and divine essence through meditation this is your weapon to be able to come into your higher self and bring the balance right See what else I see. But, you know. And as you see, he, he's very in tune and, and focus. And, and that's the blue. To me, that's all of us connect. That's the representation of the sky. And you kind of see like he got this white haze around. I see clouds. Once again, I keep getting this feel of nature. You know, um, and... 
through that balancing ourselves, our weapon, our uh, way of uh, tuning in uh, from within is through meditation. So we definitely use that tool for um, better guidance to be our weapon um, so that we can raise higher and um, go within to figure out what we need to do, who we really are, and how we will center ourselves, right? So that's what I got from that card with the four swords. Let's see <clears throat> what the book says, okay? It says meditation. Look at that. Boom. It's obvious. <laughs> meditation. Take care of the mind as well as the body. Rest before putting your plans into motion. So, you know, if you got plans um, and, 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 you, and you need guidance, meditate. Like I say, the best way to even get more informed in that and what I've seen is grounding and meditating and connecting with the earth. Because she's Mother Earth. She's in nature. It's going to help you bring the balance and better understand what you need to do with yourself and within and for your plans. So, meditation plays a good role. And through meditation... Through meditation, you can, sorry, back to this first part, you can enjoy your journey and your plans and get uprooted and get on that horse right and ride through because you're going here so that you can take this journey with ease and understand it, right? Okay. Now we have the two of swords. Now this card got all kind of stuff in it. I see you split in there. To me, already I'm getting masculine and feminine. The polarity, negative and positive, yin and yang. You know, splitting, finding the balance. And see, in, in this right here, the skeletal is beneath the, um, the, the, the suit, right? The skeletal is beneath. But in order to... to Go within, you have to get, go through the bones, the roots. You know, I feel like the bones is the root of you too, right? So, and the inside, you know what I'm saying? So, you have to go, and it's right there in the center. The center. The center is where you find balance at, right? And I, these stairs is telling me, in order to walk these stairs and reach the top up here, to go through this door, to enter that higher realm, to be able to access this this dimension, that higher dimension, you got to find the balance with, and with who you are, right? Because if not, you know, um, you could stay stagnant down here. Or you can end up wandering off somewhere else and, and, and not stay on track. So this is what we're working on too. Balance, balance. That's my last video. I'll talk about balance and polarities. Balance and find the balance within who you are. So this is that split but you have to bring it together. You have to bring the balance, right? Center it out. And do that. Take that journey. Back again. Take that journey. <laughs> Take the journey. You'll be able to meditate. It's meditation a part, part of being able to find a balance to take this journey. And this is the journey. This is the journey you're going on to reach your higher self to become the highest uh higher uh aspect of who you are and to understanding yourself from a greater perspective beyond this flesh because we are more than just this and all and i'm just starting to take off this is just a suit now you know what i'm saying but in this suit you understand who you are through here from a higher perspective and it's a journey to take it's a journey we own this ongoing journey this ongoing growing and developing this process and with that nature once again to me is a major key in that and the last card oh my goodness my goodness the star card the star card and these are considered um excuse me for a second the major one of the major arcanas in this deck this is a star card. You see how vibrant she is? It's like, I made it. <laughs> I figured it out. I'm vibrant. I'm I'm right. I'm I'm vibrating high. I'm collecting these energies. I'm a force to be reckoned with. 
And you and you and you collect you look they go that it's like you connect to she's merged she's so grand and big because we're bigger than she's so grand and big that she's merging with the planet because we're one with her we're just as grand and big in the energy as is with the planet and she's just bathing in it and it's just she's observing the energy from everywhere because she worked on herself we work in ourselves right so we got to continue to work on ourselves this is going to be an amazing month. This is going to be an amazing, amazing month. We're going to go through a lot. You know what I'm saying? But if we do the work, if we do the inner work, if we do the inner work to find the balance, to be able to walk up this, to travel this journey, to walk up these steps, get through this this gate, to this to this higher essence, to walk through that gate, to enter into the higher realms through our higher selves, Right? And through that, we do a lot of that with meditation. To find our center, to be able to, to do that, to do this, we got to balance ourselves. The feminine, the masculine, the negative, the positive, the yin, the yang, the shadow and the light. Bring that balance within the suit. Because we shed and we, we, we transform the suit because we, we got to transfer from from this to I get, we gotta transform from within and throughout. And in order to transform from without and take this journey, you gotta go within. You gotta go down to the bone, beyond the bone, in, in, in the light essence of yourself, right? So, uh, in the inner essence of yourself. And that's that journey we're taking. This is a journey we're talking about at first here. This is the journey. And this is, this is the, after we get, when we go through this gate and we do this work through meditation, grounding, connecting with nature, balancing ourselves, going within to find a balance, we're able to take this journey here, you know, saying to take the journey, but we got to uproot and upground ourselves, but for, you know, we to connect with nature, but you got to be able to move that horse to travel that, to travel that. Do this, through nature, through your higher selves. Meditation helps so much. Help you center and brain balance and understand who you are. And connecting with nature and Mother Earth, grounding, that's the natural order of things. From a great perspective, if you want to learn anything about getting here, going through here, this journey to get here, to the stars, to your true self. And, and to receive this vibrant energy to be whole and complete. Because she's doing it. She like she knows she got it, right? She got it, man. I did this. I'm, I'm here. I'm vibrant. Now let me take on and do what I'm, I'm meant to do here. Because I can now I know what to do with these energies. And I'm going to draw this. And even got, look, to me that's the solar energies that's coming in. The solar energies. That sun. And then that's the universal energy. We're, we're taking it all in. And we're, we're, we're taking this energy through us and we're sending it here connecting here with she how she grounded in to me she's stepping she's merging with mother earth all of this is connecting and we're raising the vibrations within us that's help raising the vibrations of nature and everything else around us this is what i get this is this is what i got but let me read the <clears throat> two of swords to you from the book i'm sorry i got so ahead of myself because this card just spoke out to me oh and um the star card. So let me read the two swords from the book real quick. Let's look to it. Make wise decisions. Take the path of the heart despite the challenges. Consider what decisions and choices you have made in life. Make wise decisions and not do that. Like I say, balancing yourself. And when I go reference to the first card, it's through meditation and all that stuff and grounding and connecting with the earth. Right? And then the star card, the star card, um, oh, excuse me. The star card says, dream big, allow inspirations to guide you, step out and enjoy the beauty of the world, share your gifts, shine brightly. And that's what we do. That's this what, like I say, um, in this card, we sit here to raise the vibrations of the planet. And, and through us, through us finding our true divine selves and, and going within, we're able to come to the platform. Some of us to do 
uh, stuff like this, anchoring the light, anchoring the energies to raise our vibrations, to tell our journey, to show through us uh, and be the guidance for all things as we become this beautiful star being. You know, that's what I get from the cards, you guys. Um, uh, let me share this painting. This is nature. This is to me. This is what I painted to get back to nature and connect with the animals and the plants and the waters and the, everything that's a part of nature to help raise your vibrations and seeing the true balance. You see true balance through nature because animals and plants do everything in a universal, natural order. If you watch nature and observe nature, you'll br and connect with Mother Earth. It'll help you to bring the balance and show you and guide you into the order that you need to go into for your greater self, your greater divine purpose. We're all on a journey. We're all on divine journeys to rise to be the true stars that we are. So I just want to say, you know, love and light to each and every one of you. You are the diamonds of light. We are the diamonds of light. So keep shining bright. Keep knowing that through this journey, we're finding the balance. Every day is a, a, a different day to make a difference. You know, I'm not going to act like every day. Like I said, it's always sunshine. But it's like when things happen, as you grow and you find the balance, you know how to go to that other uh, higher aspect of yourself to not stay in this part of yourself. You know, you take this to help come here to find the balance, you know, because sometimes it's just, we have experiences, things happen in life, but it's like, do you want to stay stuck there? Do you want to stay stuck in that lower self? Do you want to stay stuck in those negative actions? Hmm? No, we don't. We want to find the light that center us within and help us to move forward. That's what we are here for. So... <sighs> It's so important that we just find the balance, center ourselves, and be the best that we can. Do the best that you can. I have came from cold, a dark place in my life, and I've turned into this beautiful diamond of light through the pressures. We get pressured. Pressure comes. But when you're a piece of cold pressure on it, it turns you into that beautiful diamond. So you got to go within for that. Until next time, I love you all. Have a beautiful day. Bye now.